Welcome back to the Tactical Family Channel. Tonight we're going to be looking at some survival things. More specifically, the Ready Man Survival Cards, which are these right here. I have four of them. It was a combo pack, so all four came in the pack. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at each one and see exactly what there is on these things. Alrighty, so the first Ready Man card, or I should say Ready Man Survival card we're going to look at, is this one right here which is the Wilderness Card 2.0. This right here contains 21 tools. So it can fit in your wallet. The card size itself is 2 inches by 3.5 inches. The weight says is 12 grams or 0.42 ounce. So it has 9 different or I should say 9 fish hooks and as we can see right here we have the different types of fish hooks that it has. And then from there we have uh, it says a total of five arrows. So let's take a quick look here. I'm assuming that would possibly be one. Maybe those. Uh, I'm not quite sure where all the arrows are. I may just be missing it or exactly. Well that breaks off two but. Oh here we go. That's possibly one too. And then that one there. So. There's your five arrows, I assume. It has uh, snare locks. It has four of those. Um, it has one AWL. Sewing needles. It has two saw blades. Three. So we have a saw blade here, saw blade here, and then a saw blade right there. Um, and then tweezers. It says it has one set of tweezers. Um, I'm not quite sure where those are. But essentially, if you were to go ahead and you know take this all apart, um, you're going to have all the tools that it says it has. So, that's it's a little card. It can easily go like, like as they say, in your wallet or your even your pocket. I mean, it's, it's pretty durable, I guess, if it was in your pocket. Maybe if you were doing a lot of sitting or running, these are kind of loose. Maybe things would start coming off, so you'd want to have it in something that kind of gives it some protection. But this right here, again, is the uh, Wilderness Card 2.0, and it contains 21 tools. So let's go ahead and look at the next card. Alrighty, for the next card here, we have the Hostage Escape Card, which contains six tools. On this one, we have a stainless steel, we have a saw, handcuff shim, rack tension wrench, all these cards again are made in the USA. This right here weighs the exact same, 12 grams or uh, 0.42 ounces. So six tools here as you guys can see. We have one, two, three, uh, four, five, and then this right here is probably number six. Um, but this is supposed to be a handcuff, or I'm sorry, a hostage escape card. So some different tools. I think I might have to actually see what we can use these tools on. Um, stainless steel saw. I'm not sure exactly what you would use that on. Um, you could use that, you know, for let's see. Now, if you really had to, you know, I won't say stab, but if you really had to poke somebody with it, you probably could. Along with some of the other items on it, uh, handcuff shim. Never used one before. I may have to buy some handcuffs and uh, try that out. Um, the tension wrench. You know the stuff on here. I've never. I don't have personal experience using it, but you know maybe I'll have to try it out and see exactly how these things are used and how I could uh, really put them to use. I guess if I was in that type of situation. But just looking at some of these, you know, if you had to specifically use some of these tools, even with the other ones, you could use them to inflict some sort of damage if you needed to. Let's go ahead and take a look at the next card. Alrighty, the next card we're looking at is the medical card, which contains, it says, 19 tools. So on this one it says it has two tweezers, it says it has needles, two straight and two hook. So these would be the two straight, I'm assuming, these are the two hook. It has uh, six safety pins, Let's see, two, four, six, there you go. Uh, we have two serrated blades, which would be these ones right there. Um, again, 100% American made. Uh, we have a tick fork slash nail scraper and one file. So this one right here, let's see this is three, I'm assuming these are the bandage, yeah correct, these would be the bandage cloth um, 
clips which you take this off and then you just bend those right there and then that's going to go ahead and hold hold it in place like they do with um, certain types of gauze or bandages um, when they come with them. But again this one right here is the medical card it contains a total of 19 tools. Let's go ahead and look at the next one. Alright and our final card is the fisherman survival card which contains 21 tools. On this little card 21 tools. Okay, so we have a total of nine single hooks, small, medium, and large. We have three double hooks, small, medium, and large. We have one triple hook, one quad hook, five different lures, lures, sorry, a fish scaler, saw, and again, all of these are 100% made in America. Um, this, they're all stainless steel, and this card right here is three and a half by two inches and this weighs the least which I believe this is the 10 grams 0 0.3 ounces so again we have our single hooks there we have our double hooks right there our different lures and we have the let's see did it say saw oh no this is the fish uh, scaler we have that right there so again um, this is the uh, fisherman's card, so let's go ahead and take another, or I should say a last look at all four cards. Alrighty, again, looking at all the cards here, we have the hostage card right here. We have the wilderness card here. We have the medical card right here, and then the fisherman card right here. They're pretty cool. Um, as you can see, you know, very thin. Let's see if I can get a better look there for you. As you can see, it's an extremely thin card. Um, you can fit these pretty much almost anywhere. They don't take up a lot of space. Even if you put all four together here, as we can see, let's do this here really fast. Um, so as you guys can see, all four cards, and it's probably about the thickness of like a little bit more than a standard credit card. So I mean, you can you can easily put these and carry them on. I think they're pretty cool. Um, I think you could definitely use them, especially say for instance if you were going hiking um, or mountain biking or you were out fishing or whatever the case may be. I think these are definitely good things to have on hand. Um, not sure how much they would offer in as to a EDC or everyday carry. The hostage one, possibly, not sure. But you know it's a cool little thing to add to your bug out bag, bug out bag or add to your vehicle or something to, or some sort of pack or something that maybe you put in your um, vehicle or just you know if you store gear in there something to that effect um, I'm going to carry them for a few days just to kind of see how they work how they fit in the pocket or the wallet or whatever the case because this one right here you can kind of see it's already bending and obviously if you bend these too too much you're going to get where it's going to just pop off but again uh, these are from Ready Man. Um, the four of them, I believe, were $35 or $39. Got them just to kind of see what they were about and see, um, you know, how, I guess, good they would be to have on hand. Um, I think I'm actually going to take some apart and I'll start trying some things and just seeing how well they kind of work. The saws and stuff like that. We'll see how good the saws actually um, cut. They do feel sharp, so they may work pretty well. But again... Quick little video on some survival cards. Again, they're from Ready Man. Uh, they look cool. They seem cool. We'll have to really play with them, see how well they work. Thank you guys for stopping by and checking out the video. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. And if you guys have any comments or suggestions, please leave those. And you guys have a good night.